The second of General Motors' concepts based on their new Kappa platform was this, the Chevrolet Nomad. The car shares the name and styling cues with a concept car from 1954. The 50s Nomad was based on the original Corvette, and you can still see the influence of vintage Corvette grille and round headlights on this car. Lovely, eh? In the early 90s, there was a trend for car designers to look to car designs that the public knew and loved in the past for inspiration. Cars like the Volkswagen Beetle and Jaguar XJ are of course examples of retro style designs. These days, retro has become something of a dirty word among car designers. Maybe that's why British car designer Simon Cox is keen to establish the Nomad as much more than a mere retro design. Using some of the uh, heritage that, w that, we've, uh, that we've got, you know, within Chevy, within GM, I think it's really putting the real great character back into our cars. We don't have to do it in a retro way. You know, we can use details, we can use feeling, however we want, you know, and it'll be a different usage for different products. Using the Kappa rear-wheel drive platform, the Nomad should offer stiff, sporty handling. The Nomad is another one of these fashionable crossover vehicles. It's neither a sports car or a coupe, but sitting in between. Under the bonnet is a turbocharged 2.2-liter version of GM's Ecotec four-cylinder engine, mated to a five-speed automatic transmission, which allows the driver to change gear using Formula One-style paddles. Inside the cool blue interior, the dash lighting is more suited to the interior of a nightclub than a car, but that's exactly what Chevrolet were going for. Continuing the theme, a powerful stereo system is fitted with speakers in the dash, doors, and subwoofers in the armrests. Wow, that's a way to really feel those grooves. And they haven't forgotten about practicality. The rear seat can be folded, and the rear tailgate folds for increased space.